Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So today is going to be another mukbang, and I wanted to talk about um, this thing that I saw on Instagram. But first, let's go ahead and get into the food. So I got some Chipotle. This isn't anything new, but I also haven't had Chipotle in like a really long time. So this, I got their burrito bowl. So this is like my go-to if and when I go to Chipotle. So this is what it looks like. So basically I get the steak with the rice, cheese, the salsa with like just corn, the regular pico, um, lettuce, and then I also get sour cream. So yeah. And steak, if I mention that. This is a lot. So, if you guys know me, I follow TikTok and TikTok trends pretty closely for the most part. TikTok is one of my favorite apps. And I noticed on Instagram that... Charlie D'Amelio was kind of like hinting towards something that had to do with Duncan. And if you guys know much about Charlie or have like followed her longer than like two seconds, you would know that she's a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts. And the reason for this is because she is from, I'm trying to remember what it's called, not Massachusetts, but... Maybe it is Massachusetts. Anyways, the area in which she lived in before she moved to Los Angeles slash California was they... Yeah, it's definitely not Massachusetts. I'll probably edit part of this video and say where she's actually from. But um, Starbucks is not a big thing in that area. Dunkin' Donuts is. So she would get stuff from there. She's a big fan of coffee, which I'm still wondering why like she herself doesn't try to like make a coffee line. Like it makes zero sense to me that she would like collaborate with like a nail company, makeup company, like, if she's actually passionate about drinking coffee. But sh if she likes Dunkin' Donuts, maybe it would be, like, bad to have her own coffee line. But anyways, the collaboration that she secured with Dunkin' Donuts is actually... If you guys remember when James Child made the pink drink... Well, not made, but that was his go-to order... Basically, he was the reason why they put it as the official, like, name, like, on the drink menu. It used to be a secret item. Well, similar to that, but this time I'm 100% sure that Charlie actually gets paid for this, is there is now a The Charlie drink at Dunkin' Donuts, which I kind of want to try. If that's, like, a video idea that, like, you guys would be interested in, I'll try to make it happen. Dunkin' Donuts is not a close place to me. We used to have one in my area, but now I probably live like almost two hours away from one. But I'm still curious because not only the idea of trying her drink, but Dunkin' Donuts in general, I just have never had access to. So I still kind of want to visit anyways, just for that respect. But basically, it's a cold brew with cream and a caramel twist or something like that um or caramel drizzle whatever and that's the charlie which is interesting because i don't think caramel when i think of her i guess i never researched what kind of thing she drinks like i know she drinks a lot of iced coffee so that thing makes sense but i guess 
there was never a statement or if there was a statement I didn't catch on to it of what her actual legitimate like order was so that's why I was very confused in the whole like caramel aspect but yeah so I'm kind of interested in trying it out and also kind of see how it's so interesting how someone so young because she's like 16 can amass like such a huge following get you know all this media and attention and all of these opportunities that you would never think were even opportunities that someone her age or older could even get like think about the perspective of actually having like a food at a huge chain like dunkin donuts like named after you like you would have to have a decent amount of clout for that to happen and also she probably got paid like a decent amount of coin but yeah i'm happy for her and i definitely want to try it if i make the drive to try it i'll definitely film it if i do but that is going to do it for the reacting slash mukbang because I like sitting down and talking about TikTok related things. You guys seem to be semi interested in it. So I will keep doing it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.